All right, guys, I wanted to do a little video on a rant about North American CS and my issue with it and things that I think we could improve. And also just giving some credit to the scene because I don't think enough people do that, right? But before we get into the video, I just want to say you guys can help me out so much by hitting that subscribe button. I won't take up too much of your time, but it would mean so much to me, right? All right, let's talk about North American CS. And like I said, guys, there's a lot of issues with it, right? And I think my biggest gripe to begin with is everybody thinks that they, they're going to save NACS. They know what to do to save NACS. And I, I get so tired of kind of seeing this and hearing about it that it just, I, I don't like it, right? Like, I think a lot of people that are saying this and doing that kind of thing are don't have actually good intentions with what they're doing. And they're kind of just using that as a way to get people to bandwagon behind them and, you know, support them for no reason, right? I see a lot of people saying, let's save NACS, and then they are doing some of the most like wrong and toxic things possible to save NACS, man. So step number one, guys, there's a lot of people at the mid mid top. I'm not talking top guys like liquid complexity guys. Awesome, right? They're awesome. You know, EG guys, they're, they're so cool, right? I think there's a lot of guys at, you know, the mid top like ECL level that just are very bad actors, right? Very bad characters. And as you can see in the past, a lot of them have done a lot of scummy and really bad things. And from my experience in, in uh, FPL at the time, a lot of them think it's funny what they've done, right? They have no remorse for any of the actions that they've done in the past as far as match fixing, stuff like that. Um, they think it's hilarious. They, they, they don't care about other people and they could definitely not care about developing the scene and making the scene better, right? Which, whatever, right? I'm not gonna sit here and be like, we need to make sure you know every player is getting better and all this. No, if you're a competitor, you want to get better and you want to be better than your you know competition. So I understand why it's not the focus and, and goal of a lot of players to to help their competitors out. You know what I mean, right? Like it, it makes sense. Like if you're making videos, if you're doing that kind of thing, teaching other people, then inherently you might be helping your competition as well. It's the same reason why you don't see people streaming their matches and stuff or their practice like like the mythic guys do because inherently you could be helping your opponents prepare for your matches and you know get better so shout out to the mythic guys real quick they're awesome i what they do is absolutely incredible because i i seriously cannot tell you guys how much uh respect i have for that because it is hard to stream all of your matches it is hard to stream all of your moments like that man like especially when you're losing guys like in much respect to them what they're doing is incredible but yeah so what I noticed, guys, from my time in FPL, my time in ECL, and currently, like, what I experience right now is that these people, honestly, what they might say to you guys on Twitter and social medias and their streams and stuff does not correlate what, with what they actually feel and what they'll say, you know, off stream, right? And that's common, right? Everyone does that. You're going to put on a, a, a professional-ish persona you're gonna put on a, a, a face right like uh you're gonna put on a mask when you're dealing with anything public and stuff like that you're not gonna give your true like intentions out a lot of the time right like that is common right but i've seen specifically you know a few individuals man like preaching about how we need to respect others and be kind to others and stuff and then i've seen some same people literally cussing out admins and and just acting like a, a child in, in games because something doesn't go their way or something right i've seen players literally just like saying the most out-of-pocket stuff inside of games and in saying the craziest stuff and some of you guys have seen it because it goes uh it, it explodes on twitter when some of these players do it but there's not enough accountability for these people inside the scene and these people that are really bad and negative for the growth of everybody are allowed to thrive and are, are allowed to grow even though they shouldn't even be in the scene right some of these people do stuff and say stuff that they're given a slap on the wrist and they're not actually, you know, given the proper punishment, I feel like, for what they do, right? There's some people inside the scene that have no redeeming qualities. They literally make it their goal and dream to just, like, take away from everybody else and to just say the most out-of-pocket, horrible stuff in an attempt to, you know, trash talk. It's it's not trash talk, guys. Like, it's, they're actually serious. They're actually angry. So one thing i've noticed is that like a lot of these players man are just not not okay like they're they're just not they shouldn't even be given a, a place to you know play like this because you know they're 20 plus guys like they're 21 years and older and they're acting like 10 year olds on the internet right like that that is just weird right like that's just not something that is normal and and unfortunately in na i see it you know they're given a platform more than anything in any other region right which is unfortunate 
Now, also, guys, I'll tell you, one of the huge problems in NACS right now, specifically, is the lack of in-person LAN tournaments, right? At the top level and at the, you know, bottom level, right? For me, I, I literally want to go to all these lands. I want to travel. I want to get this in-person LAN experience, right? But all of these events have canceled, mostly because uh, in NA, the biggest one was uh, Nerd Street with Frag uh, Fragadolphia, right? And that went under because of crypto investing and, you know, really weird stuff with that, right? But just in general, guys, there's no lands in NA, right? And when there is, it's a high entry fee or there's barriers that a lot of teams can't join, right? So I think that the scene is suffering because there's just not the, the passion to host and have tournaments and go to tournaments as there was in the past, right? I remember when I was traveling probably once or twice every month as a main advanced player, to go to all these events around the country because there was just so many, right? And they were actually worth it. It was fun to go to and, you know, compete against players that you play online. But right now I'm actively trying to go to lands and I'm actively trying to compete in these and it's rare to even see any, right? It's rare to even have this opportunity to play. And I think that, I don't, I don't know the exact problem, but there's just a lack of money and a lack of sponsorship for in-person events in the region, right? Like there's no companies that are actively trying to, you know, host these things the way Nerd Street was before they, you know, their downfall. So I think that's a huge issue and a huge part of the, the problem too is like, man, I want to play in person. I want to develop. I want to grow. I want to make connections, but I just can't, right? I, I just cannot because there's, there's no events. And which leads me to my next point. I, I think a, a big issue too in NA, and I'm not saying we deserve it at all. We have not proven we deserve it. It's there's just a lack of funding in general, right? So I think one advantage all of these EU teams have for tournaments and, you know, uh, even teams and stuff is like, look at Navi, look at all these top teams that they have betting, gambling sponsorship, right? They have these these gambling money as their, as their partners, as the way of funding part of their money, right? So I think that one huge disadvantage here in the US is like none of these teams are, are sponsored by these gambling sites, they're sponsored by these uh, betting websites. And unfortunately, I, I know a lot of you like are very feel very strongly about it, but unfortunately that means that we don't have the opportunity to have salary players, we don't have the opportunity for a lot of the stuff because there's no money coming from from sponsors right the sponsors we have here are very small and they're they're doing everything they can like 100 percent respect to the sponsors but like we just don't have any of these big entities that could help some of these ecl teams help some of these uh high tier advanced teams and when we do guys the unfortunate thing is they're almost purely crypto sponsors and they they last for like two or three months right like I don't even need to point out teams, but you guys know, like they literally last for like two months and then they're gone. They're, they pull their plug and it's out. We need sustainable sponsorships that can last these teams a long, longer period and kind of give people the incentive to give full time. Because my next point, guys, half of the people playing in NA, probably more, cannot actually play this game full time, right? Like they're students, they're they're working, right? Which is good. Like I'm not saying that's bad at all, but like we will never be able to compete with EU if EU ECL teams are purely, you know, playing CS as their job, right? Whereas ECL and NA, almost 80, 70, 50, whatever, like above 50% of players are part-time players, right? They might be their main focus, but they're also working. They're also a student. They're also something, right? Over in EU, I noticed there's a lot more teams that can fully dedicate their their 100% time to playing CS, and you know they might do other stuff, but it's purely hobby. You know what I mean, right? Like so, that that's another huge issue in NA is just like there's not enough money to make it 100% worth it, and also with the high cost of living inside of America, it just makes it really hard. So I don't even I don't even know what we can do to fix that, but like, man, a sponsorship money would be great. More tournaments, bigger prize pools. And I'm not naive. I know that this money has to come from somewhere and I'm not just begging for money here, but like it would really make it more sustainable because people could actually give their 100% focus to CS and it'd be awesome because like hubs like FPL, FPLC, the unfortunate part is, man, they only pop at like 8 p.m. EST and onward, like till 4 a.m. You won't play games throughout the day, which sucks, man. I want to play like FPLC. I want to play FPL at 3 p.m. if I wanted, right? And that just doesn't happen. Every game happens so late here. And it's unfortunate because people have lives, right? And like, so do I, I'm not saying I don't have a life, but like 
people have lives and they they just they can't play at that time right like they have work they have school they have something that that doesn't let them play so that's a huge problem here and it bleeds down in every other aspect where you see all these top tier teams in ecl and even above like whining and complaining about scrims uh quality right and then they like no scrims like these people are canceling and that is true right like that is true what they're saying is true but they got to realize too like the people they're scrimming against are students the people they're scrimming against are, are full-time workers like sometimes stuff happens man and it, it doesn't happen at the professional level for a reason right like you know some somebody has to cancel scrims because they didn't get off work in time or something right like how many how many times do we see this stuff happen and yeah it is that team's fault i'm not saying it's not their fault but like people have responsibilities and reasons why this is happening it's not like some random thing that's that's you know going on guys so that's that's a huge problem but with that all being said man one thing i will say one thing i'll say about nacs is that nacs loves to hate nacs more than any region in the world right you guys will always see these memes about eu people like knocking on nacs and all this stuff but let me tell you guys from personal experience i can a hundred percent tell you that nobody hates seeing people succeed in na more than people in na nacs absolutely hates nacs you guys cannot tell me that that isn't true it is so unbelievably toxic and so unbelievably like shady man if somebody's succeeding in the scene you're gonna have 20 people like right below their level just so mad that they're succeeding right there's no there's no like support there's no pushing behind players and look at like look at liquid right liquid's an example of a uh, team and players that we can all support in and i think like most people are like yeah bro li like liquid's our team liquid's imagine if we could have that for like every high tier team right like every ecl team every like higher tier team but it's just so toxic and so negative and people hate seeing other people succeed it, it's it's actually funny like it's comedic how how bad of mentality all these people have here in na it's like oh that dude's succeeding yeah screw him like <laughs> Dude, like, how do you want people to take NACCS seriously when anyone gets the opportunity and anyone gets the chance to do anything? You're just jealous and you're just envious of what they have, right? If a team makes Pro League, bro, why are we not wanting them to do so well in Pro League? Why why are we preying on their downfall, right? Like, oh, it's so, it's so funny to me, like, how we get no opportunities. And then when one person or one team does get an opportunity, it's just like... 90% of people praying on their downfall like bro come on man like if we ever want to move up in the system we have to literally support the players and teams that get these opportunities because what well, guess what guys guess what it gives us an opportunity to move up the ladder too it literally is good for all of us if the top teams succeed and also the bottom teams succeed guys this isn't unique to you know the top teams the the players at the top I'm telling you they don't like seeing the lower tier teams succeed either nobody likes to see anyone succeed so that's one thing I've noticed. That's that's literally uh, something that has, you know, really caught my attention over the past years. And I think uh, I hate seeing all the save NACS stuff from people that actively like are preying on the downfall of NACS. So I think that, you know, we just all need to do our best. All need to support each other and be really proud of uh, when people from our region are succeeding or, you know, hit some really good milestones. So guys, yeah, just just be human. Just be normal and with that being said man like i actually have to give nacs credit like man they're the amount of players and teams i met in the scene that have been working so hard you guys working so hard with all the the memes all the people saying how horrible all these teams are with all the people just trash talking and you know saying this man there is some hard workers in the scene guys like you don't understand man someone working a full-time job someone going to full-time you know class and then trying to compete at a high level man like total respect to that like people can make jokes all they want and they can roast nacs guys but there is nobody doing like working as hard as some of these people are it's actually insane man like the the amount of players in these hubs and on these top teams in advanced and ecl that are putting in like so many hours on top of their their life already it, it's it's incredible man so respect to nacs i think that uh for what we have our region's doing the best it can i just think that the mentality needs to change and we need to stop being so weird and toxic to each other and just kind of uh you know be a, be a little more human so let me know what you guys think if you've made it to this part of the video i i want you guys to comment in i i want you guys to comment below 
green goldfish, right? I want to see all the green goldfishes and I'll give you guys a nice little Skinner sticker. It won't be worth much, but it'll let you guys know that I'm, I see you and uh, I'll ask for your trade link. So I got you guys. Um, but yeah, guys, make sure to check out my TikTok, my other socials. I'm always posting stuff and yeah, I love to see all the support. I love literally posting videos to you guys and I'm going to try out more ranty videos like this and just get my thoughts out there, right? I think it's so important just to get my thoughts out there, but I'll be posting every single day. You guys will never have to worry about me. So yeah, we'll do our best. We'll try our best. Sorry, it's a little unfocused, the camera. Wait, nah, we can't get us to refocus. So all good, man. All good. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like we'll be doing our best we'll be posting every day and i'll make sure to always keep you guys up to date with all the csgo news and pro tricks and now we're focused and i can do my outro peace out guys Woo!